Generic greetings and good morning from Traveller's Rest. Today's beverage is a nice cup of Earl Grey. So it is quarter past six in the morning. We're going to have to get out of bed, make said bed, and then get on with crafting, brewing, and overall crack on and run this tavern. This is a tavern slash inn simulator with a focus on crafting, brewing, and farming as well. I featured the demo of the game a little while ago, but I thought now that the game is available for purchase, I would take another look at it. Now, it's still in early access, so typical disclaimers apply. It's not finished. There's going to be bugs, etc. And I have only played about an hour and 45 minutes so still first impressions only on this one either way let's have a quick look at uh, the tavern let's go out and down to our main area this is our main bar area and as you can see we've got a couple of tables a couple of benches and a rug that's really in the wrong place i'm going to go to the build mode here and i'm actually going to move some of this stuff because i want to have it so that we have it nice and cozy in front of the fire there. Hang on, let's just put these down. I actually don't mind them being here. Now, this was supposed to be a temporary location, but I actually don't mind them over there. Let's place the... Oh, that actually goes quite well there as well. That's pretty good. Cool. Anyway, a quick rundown of the UI, in case you hadn't watched that uh, previous video. We've got our reputation at the top there. The higher reputation, the better, and you start unlocking different things. We have readouts for our temperature, comfort level, and cleanliness. We can turn on the uh, tavern cleanliness vision from this button here we have our open and closed options as well as the time obviously toolbar on the bottom to put place things in there for crafting and such we've got options on the left hand side for our tech tree and as you make stuff and brew you can get uh, i don't know like there's some uh, pale ale or whatever and you get these points it's split into three points there and then you've also got experience which is i don't actually know how you accrue that i assume it's just playing the game uh finally you've also got your calendar which apparently i've not even used this is your calendar where important events are to be noted um hover over any day mark with red dot to see what its events are. Well, there's none of those there, so there you go. Uh, we've also got um, our inventory as well. So we've got corn and hops and that sort of thing. All the stuff we need for brewing. Money on the left-hand side and the experience bar as well. And also quests which currently there aren't any anyway it is currently 20 past uh, 8 in the morning so what I'm going to do is go to this box here and pick up the 20 raw chickens and 20 raw beef that I ordered the night before I'm also going to do a bit of foraging and that's going to uh, net us some wood and some sticks and such which are also made of wood uh, <laughs> and we will use that to light the fire and cook with and that sort of thing anyway we're going to head over to the right hand side as well where the well is which is well pretty good and let's go one two three and pick up all of that let's pick up some wood that's all sorted and we're also going to go up this small path here to our farming area now this is very very much um, to be uh, redone because you can see i'm harvesting some wheat here but the problem is that i haven't actually bought any other um, seeds for for the crops which is not good i'm gonna have to get some more i actually don't need i actually don't know how many um, crops we are going to get and what we need. Let me just check, see how many we could get. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 per row there. So I need 16 siege of each each type, although to be fair we could probably split it up if we if we do so desire. Just going to pick up these sticks and such, just for as I said, the, the fire and for the cooking and such. You can buy them all, but you know if it's freely available, and they do drop every day as well, so you might as well uh, do all of that. Let's pick the stuff up here, and that's pretty good. Oh, there's also one down there. I can't actually see it. I can't, I can't because the <laughs> the, uh, hmm, yes, the the, uh, the toolbar is actually in the way. Oh, well, I guess that wood is staying there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is open the tavern and we'll get some customers in. Now, the maximum of customers are determined by the by the seating. So we've got, I think it's 3, 6, um, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 people maximum. And as you can see, people come up to the bar and then you can serve them. So they're asking for mild, which I think is that's in this one here. So we'll pull of mild, hand it over to them, and then the same for this one. And obviously doing all of this will net us some cash. And they're going to sit down oh, on this nice area here. Now uh, this person wants some of the barley porridge type thing that we've made. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, you can see I've got a, uh, a porter and a mild ale there. But if we go to this uh, 
malt house, we can actually go for light malted barley, which is what I'm going to do. So one, two, three sticks, go for light malted barley. I'm going to go here, and you see roasted beef, and we can create one of those, so we'll craft that. Over here, we can't do anything because this is the mash tun. We haven't got any malted barley, and I don't think there's anything... Oh yeah, we can actually brew a porter here, so we'll craft that as well. Uh, you also may have noticed that the cat that's um, wandered out was... Oh, good grief, there's a couple of people here, so serve, 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 serve and pint of mild which I had in my pocket which is probably not the freshest but there you go anyway yeah you see there's a cat there and uh, yeah, the cat just sort of wandered in like cats do and said yep I'm living here now and we didn't have any choice in the matter so yeah as you, know, as you can see it's getting a bit dirty so I'm going to go around and clean up here one of the um one of the criticisms I had with the game when I played the demo was just the sheer um ferocity of the events and such and how, how you have to quickly run around and do loads of stuff um, and it can be quite hectic at times. Luckily you can hire people but that does require a higher reputation than I've got but there you are. So yeah, I'm managing to, I have to clean the place up, I have to serve people and also keep an eye on the brewing and such but there you are. Uh, so I'll serve those. Uh, it is perfectly clean so that is good. We're going to go up here because it looks like we do have a, what have we got? Is this uh, now nicely roasted? Uh, yes we have 10 roasted um, ten roasted beef there. We can also create some soup, which I'm going to do, which requires meat and vegetables. So let's have a quick look at that inventory. We're going to put one corn in there and one beef. And I assume that will make a nice... A nice soup of some kind. Anyway, I'm just going to go down here and we will get people served. One, two, three, four, five people all want... What is it that I'm serving? Just some porridge. Just some barley porridge there. There's a pint of mild requested, so we will do that. Uh, serve that person there. And you can see it's now dirty. If things get too dirty, then people will start to leave the premises and complain and your reputation will go down, which is obviously something you do want to avoid. Clean this up here, clean this table, uh, clean that there. Let's open our cleanliness menu. And, oh, actually, it's only one little bit there. That's sorted. Okay, so I'll serve these two customers. In terms of uh, generic units of currency, we have uh, no gold. And, oh, we've got a rowdy customer. One moment, so I calm them down. And, yeah, they've, they've calmed down. Good. Uh, no gold, 53 silver and 13 copper. So that's okay. Let's have a quick look up the top here. We can see that the... Oh, this is almost done. And is this one done? This is done. So we'll get that from there. We will go for a pale uh, wort, I think it's called, not wort. Uh, and we're also going to go for uh, probably a roast chicken. And let's go for roast chicken. And you can put other ingredients there and um, design different recipes and such. So you can you know, put spices and herbs and you know make it tastier and such. But we haven't bothered serve these customers here. You do have to be behind the bar in order to serve people as well. You can't just go around the front there and <laughs> they're, they're pretty much dressed and look uh, relatively similar. Uh, let, me just, let me just clean these. It looks like I'm batting them with a broom, which is actually not the case. Um, it is messy. The, the customers do wait as well. Like they're quite, they're quite patient as well, which is, which is good because basically they don't have a choice. There's no other establishment, so you know we do have complete monopoly around here, which is uh, good for us. Not good for the customers and good for choice, but there you are. Uh, so I'm going to put the, I was going to say put the chicken on the menu, but I don't think putting raw chicken on the menu would be good for the customer's health. We'll probably have the um, oh, there we go. There's uh, two customers that want that. Yeah, the new stuff. Yeah, I think the um, uh, health <laughs> authority would probably come around it. Are you serving raw chicken? It, 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 technically, it's al dente chicken, but yeah, okay, fine. Anyway, let's go back up and pick up things from here, and you can see we're getting experience doing that as well. So we're going to do another roast beef. Um, it's a shame we can't put more in, but there you are. What, what's actually, what's this cloth do up here? Uh, nothing, by the look of it. Um, I'm also going to go over to the top here, top right, where we have the, the cat, and we've got a ball which I'm going to fill. And uh, let's pet the cat. Oh, there we go. Let's see, there's got a couple of pixels of, of um, love there, which is all you can really get in life. Let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. And this place is healthy, so we'll sort that right out. So clean the tables. You know this is a tavern, not a barn, right? Yes, I actually do realise that, but there you are. Um, let's clean that there, we'll clean that there. And what I'm going to do, because I want some time to experiment, is I'm going to call last orders. And what that does is it allows them to finish up their drinks and uh, their meals and such, which it tends to be more meals at the moment. Um, I don't know if that's because the... 
and the beer isn't very nice, but there you are. Um, looks like it's a bit of a dirt there. This must be what the angels drink. Well, no, thank you very much. That's a that's a nice compliment. Uh, how are we doing for here? That is a empty keg. So we'll take the empty keg, and ah, that's why they're not um, ordering any ale because there wasn't anything there. So I'm going to put the porter in here. I'm going to put the mild in there, and hang on, why is that not? Why is that done that? Oh, there we are. So that is porter there, mild there. That's fine. I'm going to go up and see. Oh, that's almost finished, but not just not quite there yet. Collect these, and we'll go for. What do I want to do? What do I want to cook? Um, well, a bit of heat for a start. I think another another roast chicken will be okay. Once this is done. I'll have enough to uh, gather that, and then this one is getting that. It's another porter. It's only got uh, 30 seconds to go, so that's fine. What I'll do is I'll head to I'll head outside because I want to probably order some more equipment. I want to be able to brew some stuff a bit faster. Actually, that's a thing. Let's have a quick look at my tech. Um, we're gonna go for pale. Tell now we've also got farming for root uh, red vegetables, which I'll set, and we've also got bread. Um, we've also got building, which is I would like to be able to get a workbench. You can see, there's also one for social and magic, which are coming soon. Um, there's nothing in here. What can we get? We don't need any other benches. We don't need a book. We don't need any of this. Um, I don't really want a cactus that just a bit too prickly. Carrot seeds. Let's go for carrot seeds. I'm going to pick up, I believe it was 16 that I said for that. Um, so we'll have, we'll have those. We'll have corn. Do you want corn? No. Um, garlic seeds. Yeah, we'll, we'll do garlic, but we're only going to do 8 garlic and 8 leek seeds and 8 onion and 8... Now we'll go for full 16 potato. We might have to do some more. That's only going to cost two, so that's uh, pretty good. Anyway, let's open up, open the tavern back up there. Um, temperature is perfect. Comfort is 85. I assume it maxed out 100, but perhaps not. Uh, cleanliness is also pretty good there. Well, it's actually perfect, apparently. So let's go and grow this brew pale ale and then craft that. We will take out this uh, one, two, three. I also want to make some porridge, which requires some barley. This I'm going to go for probably um, light malt barley on here. We've got nothing else, so I uh, have to head out. Oh, and that's actually already crafted straight away. That's pretty good. Let's put another one of those and go for another roasted beef and then craft that. You can hear the, in the background, uh, there's like sound cues as well for when people are at the at the bar. So a uh, pint, pint of mild, no problem at all. There's a pint of mild there. Uh, we'll go over to this book and if you right click on that you have to show you anywhere you can you can put all the stuff for sale here so we got roasted chicken we've got soup but all that sort of thing which is nice um so that requires a porter it's you know po um that's because it's uh, for that one there it would be nice if when they're asking for certain things if the background of the pop-up was the same color as the bar uh the um, the hand pump labels so that in this case part we know it's red but it would be nice if the background was red and the mild would be purple that would be quite good I think uh, would aid in readability maybe later on that's uh, what you can get but there you are so coming close to um, half past a pint of mild no problem um, and job done you can see it's getting a bit chilly now so I'm going to put in one two three logs and turn on the fire uh, you can it can get too hot as well so you don't want to just put that fire on from the very beginning I don't know if there's going to be a, a seasons thing go on I don't know if that's a thing currently or B is going to be an thing but uh, that would be probably quite nice it'll obviously give a little bit variation of uh, that sort of thing and maybe weather as well would also be fairly cool just gonna clean these tables up before I serve the next customer because it is a bit uh, a bit dirty there and oh a couple of customers have come in uh, so we'll serve these two customers straight away so one porter two oh sorry one potter and two mild so one two three and also a roast beef as well let's go up again and we will get some of this stuff uh, we'll grab that and how long has that got to go oh it's actually finished that's perfect timing opening the mash tun again uh, one two three logs and then we'll go for the pale wort and once again firing up some i think again probably some soup because i thought that was quite nice so we'll put some barley in there um i wonder if we can also put other things in um, oh that sounds like someone's kicking off uh, we'll put some 
of that in and put some of that in and that that hopefully will be will be okay and we'll craft that um you can hear like a a noise there can't really describe it but you can see this custom here they are being a bit rowdy so we're going to calm them down and oh no they're being even rowdier so um face meet mop and we'll kick them out there we go i'll also use the mop for its traditional use which is cleaning things rather than hitting people over the head i mean to be fair it could have been a lot worse it could be could be uh the shovel or the <laughs> or the hoe that we've got that would probably uh, do a little bit more damage than, than a little bit more damage than the, the mop there at least they've got a clean face, so, you know, the, the, you know every candle. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, how are we doing for this? Port is good, mild, yeah, port are mild, cool. Um, oh, are you looking at me? He's kicking off. And, oh, yeah, okay, right, chase after him with a mop, and there you go. And how are we doing for time? Time's okay. Uh, how are we want Two miles and a porter. And another mild. And, oh, a new milestone. Um, random order quests available at the notice board. That's uh, cool. So let me just serve them there. And it's coming close to 10. Um, what I might do is I will say last orders at 10. So uh, last orders. There we go. This person is kicking off. We will calm them down. And, yeah, they're, they're out. Okay, that's okay. And we'll say porter. I mean, we've served quite a bit. We've just we've got over... A gold and a half now which is very good considering what we started with at the start of the day and there you can see they're all leaving now and uh, they gain reputation there as well that guy's eating a full chicken with his bare hands i mean <laughs> fair enough uh, you may be wondering what's up here this is i believe an area for uh increasing type of reputation oh it's uh, renting rooms you can have like a, a place where they can rent rooms and such so that's pretty good but my reputation is nowhere near high enough but what should be all right now if we go here is yes we now have all of these seeds. So I'm going to put the seeds in my inventory here. And probably there is fine. And these I'm just going to have to put there for now because I want to go to the notes board for a start off and orders. Orders are special requests for craftable items. Each day, three new orders will appear. Click on available order to accept it. Click on a current order to uh, complete it. Hmm. So we've got. Pale ale, additional fruit. Uh, roasted barley modifies cheesy. All right, okay. So I'll, I guess I'm doing that now because <laughs> no, no, I can actually uh, complete that now. Right, so let's do that. So uh, roasted beef with a modifier of cheesy. I'm just going to pick up uh, some water here. There we go. Um, you might as well have as loads of buckets anyway because there's no like weight limit or anything, so you can just max out like we've done there okay so potatoes we'll plant the potato seeds uh, we'll just sort of do a run up this line and then a run down here we're gonna say onions so the first the first one there will be onions uh, leeks will go on this side I also want the garlic uh, let me press that uh, carrots I'll also put there and the garlic as well so the garlic you know put them next to the onions that seems to make sense and we'll get the uh, actually the shovel and let's see if we can create more areas for growing there we are and then a couple more and one more there we are and i was just trying to plant roasted beef in that that probably wouldn't work it's not normally how you farm beef right so we'll go back down and we'll see how things are going it's currently um quarter past 12 at night i want to order let's see i want to order i believe uh some cheese that should be fine and it did say about other quests as well so what i might do is order a couple of cheese uh, so well, three cheese we'll order three chilies and what else do we want Sage and white vinegar. Don't know if I'll be needing that. Let's just order on oh, no, a workbench as well. Um, two gold though. Let's just order that, and that'll do it. Because it takes, I think it's two hours to to arrive anyway. So we might as well do it now. Um, if you wait too long, I 
think if it gets to three o'clock, you pass out. So probably something you want to try and avoid. Anyway, before we go to bed, let's uh, collect that. Let's also set up, um, again, some roast chicken, crafting that. Take all of that, nothing else to go there. I guess I'll do some um, malt barley. Then over here, we can collect that, which should be our... Um, was it a pale ale we just crafted? It probably is. Let me have a quick look at our inventory. It is a porter, mild, and a pale ale. Excellent. So we'll add that um, to the to the bar before we forget. Um, pale ale. We'll go for the blue there. And there's the pale ale. Excellent. We'll also put in. Uh, oh, you're about to pass out. Get back. Yeah. Get get to bed before 3 a.m. Yeah. No problem. I'm putting in the roasted beef, uh, the soup and um, anything else that we may have that should be fine for now and that's okay right so let's get to it's currently cold but it doesn't matter because there's no patrons here so quickly let's get to bed and have a good night's sleep and that's one day of the game which is as you've seen quite a hectic experience um, let's just uh, save that as a new save we will make the bed we will uh, Pet the cat, fill up the water bowl, and we've got more stuff to sort out here. So we want to go for um, another roast chicken. We will go for light malted barley. Um, I think probably dark, actually. We'll set this going. A bit more wood is required, and we'll leave that be. And we will put in... Well, we've already done that for that beer. We'll put in the chicken. That's fine. And again, I want to go outside and collect all of this, all of this wood. Actually, what we should also get is the uh, the sage there. So we'll take all of that. And oh, we've also got the cheese, so we can do this um, roasted uh, roasted meat, but with a cheesy flavour as well. I assume it uh, changes every day. I think that's that's what it said. Just picking up all of these. And we'll also gather some more water while we're out and about. We want to be opening up around about nine. Um, obviously, there's probably many ways to go about running the tavern. Probably not hitting people with mops is a way forward, but haven't yet really sort of learnt that skill. But I think what we'll probably do is go for open at, say, nine, or around about nine. You can see all of these have grown somewhat, which is good. And we'll run till around about sort of... Uh, 12 and we'll obviously close up for a couple of hours and then maybe you open up back at 3 until the until the night I mean obviously if you can manage to go through the entire thing then by all means but Yeah, anyway, so let's have a quick look at our experience. So we've got six experience tech um, Let's see we go go for mead uh, Which then goes down to wine um, Cooking you got tea a nice beverage. Yeah, let's actually go for tea and I also want to go for uh, woodwork talent, which is where you can cut planks, and then you got well, metal work. So I'm assuming you can create. Oh yeah, you can craft shelves and things like that. Cool. Um, higher staff, sadly not not tier six. Orders, what we've got: uh, roasted chicken with a modifier of fruity, um, roasted beef with veg. So we're going to take that, and porter with the modifiers of bitter. I'm not going to take that. All right. So. Um, Let's check out here. Collect that. So I want to go for some fuel. Roasted beef with cheesy craft. Okay. It says 0 out of 10. Do I have to, I mean I have to make 10 of them? If so, then that's probably not going to work out. Anyway, we'll see. Let's open up the tavern. I'm um, just going to go over for the view. That's fine as well. And straight away, first customer of the day. Good morning. And cool. They're wanting lots of, lots of stuff there. A nice meal. A good hearty breakfast. They're starving. And roast beef. No problem. Let's also put the chicken there. Nice stack of chicken. all working out quite well. How are we doing over here? Doesn't take long to cook that. Let me just collect that. Collect that. And oh, I didn't actually pick up that. And ah, we haven't got any ale yeast. That's a problem. I will have to buy some uh, 
some yeast. So I uh, want a porter and a pale ale. And also we've got a rowdy customer too. There we go. So I'm just going to have a little chat with a rowdy customer. Calm them down. Okay, they'll calm down. It's nice when they agree. Clean up tables. Clean up that. <laughs> we just hit, hit the dirt out of existence. Uh, we'll go for a mild. There you are. And I'm going to check on our... Uh, no, that one. I want ale yeast, which we'll order uh, just the ten for now. We've got enough money to get more, but that's fine. Oh, yep, yeah, good. Cats liking us more. Well, I said like, the more more tolerating is more. I think that's all you can really get. So let's have a quick look. Pick that up, pick that up. And... Dark. And what was it? Roasted... Beef. With veg. Um... So... Here we go. Beef and corn. Great combo. Still waiting for that arrival for the yeast. And, ooh, lots of customers. So we want a mild, two pails, and a porter. And serve, 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 and, ooh, porter. There we go. Um, was there a customer being rowdy? I thought there was, but I can't see them. Maybe they've left. And clean that. Clean that. And go for mild, that, and then another mild. And we'll call last orders. Because we're going to shut up shop for a little while. Okay, good. Let's see. Do I have my inventory? Uh, yes, we've got cheesy beef there. Oh, you get. Oh, yes, I think it does say, yeah, 10, but we craft 10 anyway. So, orders. Um, beef. And we want to. That's slightly annoying. Then I'll have to put it down there because the UI is over the top. And now we've got this. Ugh. Anyway. There. Accept. And job done. Okay. Um, what else can we get? Orders. Roasted chicken with a fruity with a fruity flavour. Um Well I guess we'll get a cherry. Actually we'll get we'll get a stack of five. Nah, let's make it ten. And there we go. Right. So we've shut up shop for a little while. We're gonna clean the tables. It does say perfect, but we're just gonna wipe them down a little bit. Like so. Um Let's check in the back. Looks like these are sorted. Turn that modifier off. We'll collect that. We will go for a... Um, probably a malt barley. We'll go for a... Do I want roast barley? No. Um, soup, because it seems to sell quite well. We could put in... What's it require? Meat and vegetables. So, go for beef and... Chili and beef soup. That actually sounds really nice. I'm hoping the other stuff is sorted. Has that arrived yet? We shall see. I also want to maybe decorate the place a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. There's our yeah, brewing yeast or something. Um, in terms of the other stuff you can buy, you've got benches and tables and things like that. I want... Um, I don't know if I want another... I don't want fencing or anything. I don't know if we want... Anything else really? A doormat we've got, we've got paintings. I've got a rug there. I haven't got another. Maybe, do we want a couple more benches? A teddy bear. Uh, comfort 10. And a torch. I guess some of this is for the bedroom. I'm going to get that towel there, even though we don't. doesn't actually do anything by the look of it. And a workbench, which I'm trying to save up for. Uh, oh, I should probably also hand in this other sort of quest, shouldn't I? So it's uh, roasted beef with vegetables. Um, I'll actually do my inventory first, so roasted beef with veg, which we'll put in there, and we should be able to, oh, should be able to do orders, 
Now, uh, rust beef veg on that one, and accept there. And then we get experience. So let's have a quick look at our experience. 63. Uh, we've got cleaning speed, uh, haggling, that reduces prices and we get more, so we're going to go for that. Um, in fact, you know what, I'm just going to go the full lot, 10 straight down the line. So, that's crafting speed increase, farming increase, bartending speed, and that should do us for now. So, that's how we're getting the stuff there. Okay, 3 o'clock, or just after, a um, bit of a later opening, but that's, that's okay. Not too bad. And we're going to probably go for a... Uh, mild um, and what's this is a fruity we need a fruity a fruity chicken um, don't think we can get don't think we're able to do that um, but we'll see anyway we're gonna put our soup on this on this menu now so let's go for that there that there um, porter which I'm assuming these kegs are going to be going down but I haven't yet checked. So soup we're going to put on there. So we've got we've got different types of soup, three different types of soup there. So that's that's pretty good. And I'm just going to check to see if the cherries have arrived. Let's just uh, bash that dirt out of existence there. And there's the cherries, so we can craft that as well. And uh, someone's asking for a pale ale, and do I actually have one in my pocket? So the raw three chickens there. <laughs> All in one row. <laughs> the chick. <laughs> what's what's today's special? The chicken. There we go. And this is a bit more variety on the table here. And ah, there we go. A proper classic, classic meal. Porridge. At least when you mouse over it, you can see what it is. Uh, dirt gone. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Definitely. So. We want to get what was it? Uh, roast chicken, roast chicken, with a hint of cherry craft. Um, more barley, um, mild, and we'll come back down. And a porter. I have a feeling one of these is off. No, mild's okay. That's okay, and that's okay. And we already had one in our pocket anyway. Oh, you can see it's now messy, so we do need to sort this out. I think the staff that you can hire, I think security, and you might be able to get someone that cleans, but I'm not too sure. That would be quite good, because we've already got enough. With the crafting, the farming, and everything else, we've already got enough going on. Um, pale ale. And obviously with the quests as well. But So there's, a, there's they're not really a any sort of big criticism it's just there's enough to do uh, this you know so it, if you want to slow the pace then you, you certainly could you just obviously not going to get as uh, much money there so coming close to six i think we might close a little bit early just to um just to give ourselves a bit of time there um probably another roasted beef just go for a straight up roasted beef. We don't need to add any extra there for for sale. Although if we do that, then it might sell for higher and more variety increases the reputation that you gain. I believe if you've got more variation and such. Um, there is our towel, which I'll put it um, there for now. While I'm here, um, we'll also go to orders. Uh, fruity chicken. That's that's the wrong thing. Uh, there is the roasted fruity chicken, and we're going to uh, do a collection of that one. And we've also got um, uh, the porter with the modifiers bitter, which um, I'm not yet attempting. I think I'll attempt that maybe tomorrow. So back in, I know there's already going to be a couple of people waiting, and that is the case. And what we'll do is we'll clean the tables on the way past, because it is quite dirty there. And job done so let's serve these customers that we can and you can see the color temperature does change um oh pale ale so pale ale pale ale and a porter yeah, you can see it gets darker obviously the color temperature the thing does change and also it is now chilly so we'll go one two three logs and that's job done and a porter which is this one and pale ale and I'm going to go to build menu and I'm going to put this uh, rag about there. I <laughs> don't think it does anything other than just serve as a bit of decoration. There you are. It's currently a bit messy so we'll have another clean. Switch over to the mop there. And 
and as I said, I think we'll shut a little bit early, maybe 10. There we go. I wonder if there's any way to increase what you have at the bar as well. That would be quite good. I know I've placed a lot of things that are on there, but I don't know if you can change things up. Uh, like, and add more, more stuff. Let's go for a straight up porridge. Starchy. And... No... Nothing's on there, that's okay. Chicken, chicken, and pale ale. The pale ale does seem to be quite a... Quite a good seller, unless these kegs have actually ran out. No, mild and... There's still... we still got mild and the, uh, And the porter. In terms of our... Tech, then... Probably gonna go for... Ah, apples and pears. Talent, yeah, and... What about building? I don't really care about that. Amber, uh, a pale ale advanced. Oh, I see you can go for IPAs and such. Okay. Lager and mead. We'll unlock lagers. So we want a mild, porter, and a porter. Oh, I don't think I've pulled that one correctly. If you um, let go like that, it just doesn't doesn't pull the pint, I believe. Porter. And also this place is really really incredibly dirty you can see people are leaving but that's just because they've uh, had the fill and whatnot and leaving in a slightly advanced state of merriment than, than when they came in but that's that's fine so mild uh, pale ale pale ale pale ale and a mild and fastest bartender around and job done and you can see just how much dirt there is around there and another mild I'm gonna check the food because I have a feeling that we've uh, we're running out of it a little bit so here and oh no loads so we've got loads of that so roast beef will go there we have raw beef um, raw chicken doesn't seem to go out of date which is good it's out of date doesn't go off should I say and uh, we'll call last orders there. So we'll serve these customers here because, uh, well, why wouldn't we? And then we will obviously start to clean up, serve these two customers. Uh, we'll clean up and uh, we'll check, do some crafting and all of that. And just clean that. And there's our reputation flying right up, which is excellent. What we want. And let's just check around here. So let's craft a porter. So we've got, we've got a pale ale and lager. Um, we don't have ah, we don't have a a lager yeast though. Um, I wonder if we like what can we mix in? I don't think we want really a cheesy, uh, a cheesy one, a uh, cheesy porter. Um, you've got bitter hops, so you can have hoppy and bittery, right? So if we've got these uh, aroma hops, let's just do that and a beef flavor. No. Sage, no. Uh, craft. Because we can. Collect that, collect that. Um, probably fire up another soup, actually. This time, we're going to have some fun with it. We'll have a uh, probably a chilli, sage, and cheesy soup. Craft. Okay, good. Is there anything we can do here? Um, dark. Word. Good. Okay. So, menu for cleanliness, already a bit dirty, but clean this up, and then we're going to check on the crops. That's been a good couple of days of of tavern keeping. Check the beer, that's an empty keg, so we'll take that, and that is a porter, so we'll replace the keg. This is an empty keg, that was the, um, the mild, and then this one is the pale ale, which is... Um, getting low, but we do have uh, another another set there as well. And we want to put in... Is there anything to put in here? No, because it's all just crafting. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Porridge. We do have porridge. Here we are. And we also have now nearly three gold. So we've done quite well there. That's pretty good. Speaking of well, we do want to fill up on our water. Like that. And we're going to check on the crops. I have a feeling the crops will be ready for harvesting. I should also probably turn that overlay off. Oh, no, they're not. They're not ready for harvesting. So it'll probably be tomorrow. Because it does take a couple of days to, 
to do that. Anyway, I think we will go to bed and probably leave it there, I think. That's been a little bit of Traveller's Rest. As I said um, at the start, it, it's sort of a follow-on from the, the demo that I checked out. Um, looking forward to certainly doing the the rooms upstairs and building all of those that should be really cool the actual moment to moment it's it can be fairly uh, fairly hectic and very frantic actually but um, I like the fact that you can you know experiment with the types of things that you can make and that sort of thing I think later on there is going to be uh, more quests and like a storyline that goes with it regular visitors that you get to know and and, and you know and just a more sort of expansive uh, expansive setting which is pretty good. In terms of what it looks obviously fairly simple. No real comment there. It is what it is. Uh, do I want to go for... I don't know what to brew next. I think I want some more equipment as well. That would be advantageous certainly. But yeah, overall I'm quite enjoying. As I said it's uh, something I've been looking forward to playing and I have been enjoying it. Want to check out the building of the rooms and such and hiring people so it should be nice to see how that goes so we can focus more on the sort of crafting uh, side of it. Either way, if you uh, like what you see, then um, by all means let us know in the comments. If you want to see more, again, just let us know. And um, yeah, links in the description so you can check the game out yourself if you do so desire. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>